at six. Now at six, the seven investigates explosive, an alarming development during an arrest, and it involves two police officers. The initial uh, contact between the sergeant and the officer was his hand uh, against her throat. Tonight, what led up to this troubling turn? Hello and welcome everyone. A Sunrise police sergeant is off the streets and under investigation after an incident involving another My son officer. Dylan has ADHD, which causes him to focus on to things he's passionate about Karen. and not always on what I Craig need him Belfies, to focus on, like homework or brushing his teeth. But when he's talking about vegetarian dinosaurs, he's like, not quite like this. Videos, like not quite like this. Videos, like not quite like this. Videos, what started as an arrest up, ended and I would never with a police sergeant that. putting his That's why Dylan plays Endeavor Rx. It's the first doctor-prescribed video game treatment for ADHD, proven to improve attention. Sunrise Police released this body camera video to seven investigates after a tip led us to ask about a November 19th incident. Citing an ongoing internal affairs investigation, the department turned off the sound and obscured almost all the faces, except for one, Sergeant Christopher Police. When he went up and put his hand on her throat, what was your reaction? I, I, I find this behavior to be uh, disgusting. Um, I think the video speaks for itself. Just a minute earlier, the body cam shows a man being walked by officers to a patrol car. He was being arrested for aggravated battery after police say he hit people outside this convenience store. The man under arrest is already in handcuffs, but officers appear to be having difficulty getting him into the car. Around that time, Sergeant Police pulls up and walks up to the suspect. Sunrise Police Chief Anthony Rosa says he could not tell us what the sergeant said, but says it made the situation worse. I find it to be the inappropriate and unprofessional. Um, it, what he did is he escalated the situation when calm was actually required. You see the cuffed man back away in the back seat as Sergeant Police leans into the car. And we saw that he had pepper spray in his hand. Was he threatening to use that on the cuffed suspect? Uh, so this, the pepper spray was out and uh, aimed at the suspect. Suddenly, an officer races towards the sergeant and pulls him by the belt with both hands away from the car. Sergeant police, pepper spray still in one hand, grabs the officer with the other and pushes her against a patrol car. The initial uh, contact between the sergeant and the officer was his hand uh, against her throat. Watch again from both camera angles. It's quick, but the sergeant's hand is at her neck before moving to her shoulder. Seconds later, he walks back to the car with the cuffed suspect, opens the door and closes it before pointing at the officer and saying something. Chief Rosa says the young officer did the right thing. So I, I'm very proud of this police officer. She took some definitive action. I can only imagine what she must be feeling. She's a, a newer officer officer and he's a very senior sergeant. Just how new? The 28-year-old officer who we are not naming has been with Sunrise Police for just over two and a half years. Compare that to 46-year-old Sergeant Christopher Police, a 21-year-plus veteran of the force. If one of us had ever grabbed an officer by the throat, we would be arrested, we would be put in jail. Why is that not happening with him? So uh, this, there's some details of the investigation uh, that I've not disclosed that I'm unable to disclose right now. And if any of the information that comes up during the investigation rises to a, a level of criminal behavior or criminal conduct, then, then we'll address it appropriately. There is a new state law requiring departments train officers on their duty to intervene if they see another officer using excessive force. Chief Rosa says Sunrise already has policies requiring intervening and de-escalation. This officer intervening and stopping a situation from getting any worse is a direct reflection of the training that we do do with the police department. And I think that uh, it's important to note that the behavior is very unacceptable by the sergeant, but the behavior of the officer that intervened is exactly what society is asking their police officers to do right now. And while the department does realize the public is going to want to see and hear all of the video for themselves, the chief offers this. I'm not releasing the audio at this moment in time. However, once the investigation is done, I am committed to being completely open and transparent and everything will be uh, released. 
So we looked into Sergeant Police's internal affairs history with Sunrise Police. He had two allegations of excessive use of force nearly 20 years ago. He was cleared on both. As for this case, he is on desk duty and declined to comment through his union. Live in Sunrise, Karen Hunts.